Greetings to everyone. My name is David Triana, and I am the, your host for Making Connections. This is a special edition of Making Connections, and we hope all of you are doing well and enjoying uh, yourselves in this uh, wonderful uh, springtime of the year for us. Uh, Making Connections is produced by Conexion Media Group, and we are also the publishers of the Conexion English and Spanish publication. Our company also organizes regional networking activities to bring the business and nonprofit communities together. Um, we also organize activities throughout the year to include the annual Emerald Coast International Week and the annual International Festival in Fort Walton Beach. Um, my, co my normal co-host, Kismeth Melendez, is not with us today. She is resting after being uh, very busy with several activities that she has been part of. Uh, today, uh, we have a special edition of this show. Uh, our guest is going to be Martin Levin. Martin is part of the Fred Levin Way Foundation. And uh, we are going to talk to Martin about what I think is one of the best annual events in our region, an event that promotes giving and promotes service to the community. It is called the Fred Levin Way Festival, and it's a celebration of giving that takes place in Pensacola. It's a free family festival that uh, is now on its third year. And uh, we're going to come right back uh, to talk to Martin Levin about this wonderful activity. We will be right back. Do you want to advertise to thousands of Hispanics and non-Hispanics in North, Northwest Florida and Southern Alabama? ¿Quieres promover tu empresa y producto a miles de hispanos y no hispanos? Connection is your most cost-efficient way to do so. Conexión es tu solución. We are the largest English and Spanish publication in our region. Our primary mission is to inform, guide, and educate our readers via interesting content. Somos la publicación mensual en español y en inglés de la más grande distribución en toda la región. Además de las 5,000 copias en papel, tenemos activa las redes sociales, incluyendo Facebook, on Twitter e Instagram, y también por Internet. Conexión is your bridge to connect you to the growing Hispanic market in the region. Call us. Llámanos. We are being joined uh, right now by Martin Levin. Martin Levin is part of the Fred Levin Way Foundation. And we're going to be talking uh, about a wonderful event that they have coming up in, on its third year. It's, it's called the Fred Levin Way Fest. And it's a celebration of giving, as they describe it in the uh, publicity material that, that is out there, the website. Really a free family festival where they bring together a whole bunch of different organizations to just serve the community. I think in the base, in the most basic way, that's the way we can describe this wonderful event that is now in its third year. And uh, welcome uh, to uh, Making Connections, Martin. Uh, how are you doing today? Very good. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about uh, you yourself first. Uh, let's start with that. Fred Levin uh, was my father. And my sisters are Marcy, Deb, and Kim. And the four of us uh, are the ones who, you know, make up this or, or help lead up this festival and the foundation. Uh, so the foundation is called the Fred Levin Way Foundation. Mm -hmm. And that's myself and my three sisters. And then the foundation, along with our sister foundation, the Fred and Marilyn Levin, Family Foundation put together this festival once a year. I understand it. Now, the festival being on its third year now, obviously, has had a couple of years of history. But uh, more importantly, uh, it's a way to serve the community. Is that the, the most basic way to say this? Yeah. So, uh, interestingly enough, the way it came about is the city of Pensacola was renaming a road in uh, Pensacola three years ago. Um, to the Fred Levin Way. And so we were doing this, um, you know, introduction or celebration of the naming of the road and, and the unveiling of the road. And at that point, we decided, well, let's do a festival at the same time in, in, in his honor. And we came up with the idea that we wanted to be able to 
bring together these nonprofit organizations who provide free services to individuals in need in the Pensacola area. And it really was just this concept and idea. We had no idea whether <laughs> it would hit, you know, how big it would be, um, if anything. Um, but that's, it was really just a, this thought, the spur of the moment type thought that actually the whole thing came together within eight weeks at most the first time. Is that right? So my, yes. my, my assumption is your father, uh, in honoring his legacy, uh, you know, this idea of, uh, of a community even came about because he was involved in the community and cared about the community. Absolutely. So the foundation existed beforehand under a different name. And that foundation called the Levin and Papantonio Family Foundation, um, that was Mike Papantonio, my father, and myself, we gave away around $3 million over its portion. And at that point, what we were doing is giving the money to the local nonprofits. Uh, so we were distributing money at that time to nonprofits and to individuals who were making a difference in the community. It was, so it really was after dad's death and then the naming of the um, street that we converted it into this festival where we brought all these nonprofits together and had them give away essential items to families and individuals in need. So the concept of bringing in the nonprofits, uh, or different nonprofit organizations uh, to serve the community uh, during that uh, one event uh, that in honoring your father um, is uh, to also provide an opportunity for the small, medium, and large organizations to be able to do so. Is that uh, part of the part of the uh, plan behind that? A absolutely. You're talking the, the purpose uh, was to bring together the various nonprofits who make up the lives of individuals in need. So it could be individuals who are having severe financial issues or rent issues or food or clothing, or it could be individuals who are struggling with, you know, families with all type Alzheimer's or autism, or it could be, you know, individuals of disabilities. So what we did is we wanted to bring together specifically the variety of nonprofits that are servicing all of those in needs. So we'll have organization that, you know, nonprofits that deal with uh, human trafficking. We'll have some that deal with providing, you know, tuxedos and dresses to individual, to high school kids who prom, can't go to a prom. Like you know, we'll have, you know, it, it just is, Every type of need that you can imagine is what we've tried to bring together. You know, that, I think that's a, such a wonderful concept because sometimes, unfortunately, and as as a, as a, a person that uh, is very involved uh, myself with nonprofit organizations, and this is just the nature of the beast, as I call it. You know, the larger organizations that have the means and the capabilities to promote themselves in a large manner and, and throughout the region or whatever, obviously, very well known. But you got so many other in between and, and even smaller ones that are doing such great things out there to serve the community that may not be as well known to those individuals that are providing funds or donating towards those entities. And this. so I think that's one of the among all the other great things that your event is doing now in its third year is giving that opportunity to also the smaller non uh, entities to to be part of something great as the event is and also to be also um um, to be known, to get to be known by the uh, community at large, because uh, I know the event has been very successful the first few years, and it's only going to grow. Uh, so I think that's a that's a wonderful thing that you all are doing uh, in in honoring your father. Not just you know obviously the donation of things that all the entities are doing, the time and effort. Because I know you, you guys are putting a lot of time and effort into it, and that's that's what it takes when you're committed to something as your family is and and your associates. Uh, it's giving uh, that opportunity know, also. Um, for the small, mention, medium, and large organizations to be part of it. Yeah, and I'll mention that, interestingly enough, um, one of the bigger comments we always get because uh, we do post-event surveys of the nonprofits is the nonprofits mentioning how important it was to them. They didn't realize all these other nonprofits existed. And they go around and they 
say, wow, I didn't know that existed. I didn't know you existed. I have people that need your service. And so not only is it the community coming together to learn, but it's actually the nonprofits meeting each other. So this one is going to be the third one. Tell us a little bit about what you've seen and, and have experienced during the first two that you said, wow, we're so glad we're doing this. The first year, like I said, it was it was a spontaneous kind of, I don't even know who thought of it or brought it up. I, I'm sure it was one of my sisters, obviously. Um it, because they, li I live in Boston and have for the last almost 23 years, and they live in uh, Pensacola area. And I'm sure it was one of them or, or the three of them who, who who thought of this. And at that time, it was just a rushed uh, event in which we had never even, you know, we've never put on a festival. And so we happened to um, find out about um Two individuals, Madrina and Ellen, who were doing a lot of festivals and, and events, and they came in and helped us out and really allowed the first one to have structure. And so I was in Pensacola for the unveiling of my father's street, and we were having this event, and literally my sisters and I were just speechless. We could not believe the turnout that was there for this first event. We probably had about, I don't remember, 40, 45 nonprofits on the first event. The crowd was just amazing. The the feedback, the need, and it just literally, you know, brought us to tears. And we said, wow, I don't, how did this happen? And so at that point, we decided, well, we need to do it again. And so last year we got it up to 55 nonprofits. And, you know, and then really started adding more kids games, uh, you know, where we had, um, you know, different, you know, the carnival games, activities, I would say. The, the type of stuff, games yeah. you do at carnivals, you know, right. and and then we had perfor local performances and DJs and the <laughs> uh, the museums in the area, the, the children's museum and the history museum and the art museum and then the ymca opened up to us all free that day for our guest that's wonderful and so it was just mind-boggling significantly bigger than the first year yes uh, I, and, I read that you had about 70 7500 people in attendance uh you mentioned already about 55 different nonprofit organizations i, I was reading uh uh, the amount of meals that you served and uh, all the things that you distributed. So uh, talk a little bit more about that if you want to. Um, some of the things that, uh, you know, from one year to the other, an incredible growth right away that occurred. Right? It was. Uh, yeah. So last year, like you said, we had 7,500 attendees, uh, 55 nonprofits distributing essential items. We ended up distributing about 75,000 essential items, um, you know, and these include backpacks, blankets, diapers, first aid, hygiene kits, pet foods, school supplies, <laughs> you know, toilet paper, you know, toothpaste, toothbrushes, underwear, you, you know, and it was about 75,000 items we distributed last year. And, um, but, you know, in 4,000 meals. So we distributed wow. 4,000 free meals. And the event was just phenomenal. Yeah. This year will be our biggest. Well, while you're but, talking, Martin, I'm going to cut to uh, show some of the pictures from last year. So go ahead and keep keep describing what you uh, what you experienced. So this year, you know, weather dependent. Um, you know, that's always the you know the issue when you have an outdoor event. Weather dependent. This definitely will be by far our biggest. So we'll have yeah, you can see there. That's uh, we have cartoon uh, drawings of our. Um, attendees and uh, food that, you, that can't, you can't have a party without food <laughs> yeah it will have 10 food trucks wow. um we do give away all all meals are given away that day uh those are the sheriffs uh will be there with their horses um again we're going to have um 
And that's what it's all about right there. My yeah, friend. and all about the kids. And, all and about the, the kids, and you needs. know, and family and bringing families together, uh, you know, for a good cause per se, right? Because, you know, the yeah. entities that are there are serving them. And many of these families may not know about them. And then one of the best ways to do it, uh, bring them together is this way. Um, so, yeah, keep going. Yeah, Go so we'll have uh, 60 plus nonprofits this year. You can see our games that we'll continue to have. Um, we're going to have live performance from um, Jordan Chase. Uh, Jordan was uh, a contestant on American Idol and on uh, The Voice. Is and he'll be right? Wow. Yeah, he'll be performing live. We'll have face three face painters uh, out there doing their face painting. Um, we will have uh, DJ Albert Lau. He'll be doing a live DJ performance in the kids' area. Uh, what are some of the... Um... Nonprofit. I know you have a lot of nonprofits, obviously, uh, but uh, you have the small, medium, and, and large, don't you? We have every size nonprofit uh, that you can imagine, um, from a nonprofit that may have three employees to a nonprofit that is, you know, the United Way of West Florida. Right. It's it never ends. Um, There's like a huge carnival, right? I mean, yes. So you, you, have the, see, you have the you have the you have the primary purpose of it to spread the the good word about the wonderful things that nonprofits are doing. So you got them right there serving the community, informing the community, and then you got to keep the kids happy so that the parents stay, right? So you got the exactly. carnival activities in a sense and games and things like that. Exactly, and that's and exactly music. right. So what we do is we provide a carnival atmosphere for the uh, children. Um, and we have a significant uh, law enforcement, um, you know, presence there. That's good. Uh, you know, safety, so people can, very important. So safety. people can feel safe. You know, we'll have, you know, probably twenty at minimum law enforcement officers from police and the sheriffs. Um, we'll have, um, you know, a lot of military, um, military personnel, presence. Right? We have, um, you know, the fire trucks and the EMS. And not only are they there for safety, but they're there for to meet the community and the yes, community you bet, to, you bet. to show that 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 uh, you know that friendliness and uh, and approach uh, you know they're, they're approachable too obviously right but they're serving the community very also. approachable especially uh, what about the, this food that I see here I see some delicious food being cooked is it um, is it is are the vendors uh, selling the food or is there going to be some free food how does that work the vendor uh, all meals are free um, we pay the vendors <clears throat> so all wow. all the food. All the food is free, including the snacks, the popcorn, the cotton candy. Um, but we, uh, the foundation pays each of the vendors. Uh, and we try to, uh, they're all local vendors. Uh, and we try to concentrate on um, minority um, vendors. To, Got it. To I see some pay. cadets there. And one of the pictures here looks like uh, maybe uh, cadets from uh, the Navy or something like that. Uh, yep. Uh, 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 we we uh, we have a military presence. We will have, in fact, this year, uh, the Chappie James Flight Academy. Uh, Chappie James, of course, was a four-star uh, African American general who was born in Very Pensacola, well known, yes. and he became one of the greatest generals in U.S. history, and certainly one of the most most honored and respected. And uh, we will actually have his son uh, will be at the event this year at the Chappie James Flight Academy. Uh, meeting with uh, people. And the performances, as far as the stage performance, we're going on throughout the whole day. You have a main stage or secondary stage type of uh, atmosphere? We also? do. We have the main stage in the kids' area, and that's where the uh, DJ Lau will be. Okay, so DJ Lau is going to be one of the main uh, acts in there also. <laughs> Sounds like a great event. Looks like a wonderful event. I know the first two have been very, very successful. Uh, uh, how many people do you think uh, will be coming to this one? <laughs> <laughs> What's your expectation? Let's call it that way. Uh, weather dependent, obviously. The better the weather, the better the, better the turnout. Sure. Um, we don't have a rain date. Uh, if if the if the weather conditions are such we can't uh, hold it, we post that on our website. Okay. But uh, depending on if we had great good weather or great weather, I would anticipate close to ten thousand this year. Wow, that's right. Because uh, each year, I'm sure it's going to grow. It's becomes it becomes known, and it's such a great cause bringing uh, the servant community of entities together to 
you know, to show what they do and to educate people on what they do and also doing it while having a good time because uh, exactly. many of the foundations, I'm sure, provide activities for the children. So the children will not be bored. That's the key, right? That means the parents going to be very happy to be there. <laughs> and not only will the uh, kids uh, be happy to play, uh, but if uh, adults will um, visit at least 30 of the nonprofits, um and they get a stamp to show they did, then each child that they bring under 18 uh, gets to select a very nice prize out of our prize area. That is so they get great, to go. That's a great strategy. That's wonderful. So, so they uh, not only that, and then um, every uh, individual at the event will get a raffle ticket uh, where they get to put the their name and address into and bid, not bid, but uh, win. To win, uh, we have some extremely nice it's a, it's free stuff. I mean, it's, there's, there's, and, no, oh, there's it, not, it, well, like just to give you an idea, just one of the 10 giveaways are two bikes. That's right. just one. That is um, outstanding. And, and, and every and, kid likes a most, I'd say 100% of the kids, if they don't have a bike, they want a bike in some and, way. And, and so everyone gets to participate in the raffle. Like I said, if the adults will visit at least 30 nonprofit, every kid with them under 18 gets to select a very nice prize before they leave. And the date for this one, time, location, please? Uh, Sunday, April 14th from uh, 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock in downtown Pensacola, historic downtown Pensacola. Uh, specifically, if you just head to Palafox and government, you'll see the entire event. So there's the uh, we're showing here the uh, official uh, flyer that was sent to us, the 2024 free family festival of Fred Living Way Fest on its third year, a celebration of giving. I love it. I love whoever yep. came up with that. Congratulations. It is free for the entire family. As you can see there, kids activities, your kids will not be bored. That is important, obviously, for parents. And more importantly, the parents will also be able to learn about the great uh, the great nonprofit organizations that we have in the area here and the services that they provide. You cannot be bored in an event like this, as you can see for all the other flyer that we're showing with all the activities that are going on. And free. It is all free, courtesy of the uh, family, um, the uh, family that's organizing this event, obviously, and the uh, organization, the, the nonprofit organization that's putting it together. Uh, it is Sunday, the 14th of April from 11 to 3 in downtown Pensacola, right there near Palafox and government. It's going to be a full house, I am sure. And uh, if you want to find out more, as we can, uh, you can see right here in our flyer, go to the Fred Levin best.com volunteers are you looking for volunteers do you have your volunteer force already in place if somebody wants to volunteer what do they what what should they do so we are we do have our volunteers already for this year okay um on the website um under the frequently asked questions portion there is a volunteer um form so individuals who would like to be involved next year Mm -hmm. can certainly go to that form, you know, and fill it out. And that way we have their name and in contact information and okay. they can get involved in the process. Let me show the website here while you are talking about it. It's a very informative site. I saw it earlier today, the Fred Levin Way Fest Celebration of Giving website. Exactly. FredLevinFest.com has a lot of detailed information about the event itself. Obviously, it's taking place on April 14th of this year. Uh, so if you go to the uh, nonprofit link. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, look at and, that. Here's some. It, so that will be all 60 nonprofits that will be participating this year in what they do and a quick link for people to be able to visit their websites. Autism Pensacola, one of the best organizations in this area. And I say that from the bottom of my heart, being uh, the father of a, of a young man with autism, one of the first entities that I ever uh, spoke to, uh, Susan Byer, and at that time, uh, uh, Autism Pensacola, Boys and Girls Club. I'm a Boys and Girls Club kid. And uh, look, look at all the wonderful organizations that are participating in your event. So uh, this is another, another great reason to go. You're probably going to find out about entities that may provide services to people that you know, or even kids within or, or, or within your family that you may not have known about. So this is another one of the 
great positive things about this uh, great event, and that's that is uh, helping the uh, nonprofit organizations that are serving our community uh, spread the word on what they do. And there's a whole bunch of them, as you can see right oh, there. Oh yeah, when you, you, go to you don't realize how many com. until you start scrolling through them and then you know seeing what they do and um, how they can help you personally or someone you know and love. Exactly. What a what a what a great lineup as we want as we like to say. But uh, more importantly, this is the people that are serving our community. These are the entities that are serving our community in all the different ways that community communities need. And this is, you know, for low income, middle income and high income people that uh, uh, that these entities serve you in some kind of way with the great services that they give. So this is uh, one of the uh, most important, in a way, parts of your wonderful event that you all have created here. Uh, and that is uh, helping those entities spread the word uh, to the community that may not know about them and, uh, and how they can serve them. Um, how they are serving the community already, and then obviously honoring your father, who is a community-minded individual, like just like your family is. And you, Martin, uh, congratulations! Congratulations on this great event. Uh, Brent Goodman told me about it several years yep. ago as we were talking, and I go, "Wow, wow, that's going to be a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful event." Uh, it is. Uh, it is just uh, uh, inspiring, uh, you know, to many people when they see something like this being done, you know, uh, in memory of your father, in this case, through his uh, legacy, you all, your family. And then I'm sure there's other, uh, a lot of other people involved. Would you like to recognize or mention uh, anyone that uh, is uh, supporting your wonderful activity? Well, you know, we have many sponsors and on our website, uh, we do list our sponsors. There's uh, too many to mention. Um, and we obviously appreciate them tremendously. Uh, and we'll also, uh, you know, we'll show all our sponsors on the uh, distribution material that we hand out um, there. And so you'll be able to see who, who all is there, who is, who is contributing financially or in kind, you know, giving us. Uh, because it's, it does take a community to make these things happen. As you it know. really does. I family mean, you can, are the leaders of this wonderful event in honor of your father. And then, you know, you bring the community together that is maybe already serving them through those nonprofits, but then it takes you know, the support of the business community and the, and the other leaders of a, of a city and or, or area to, uh, to put it all together. So yes, you got a wonderful um, list here of all the different supporters. Um, congratulations on uh, honoring your father through this wonderful program. Uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, uh, uh, the whole family uh, thinks about him every time that uh, yeah that you put it together and I'm sure obviously throughout the year, but uh, when this comes about and you see this great thing occurring, kids having a, a great time, smiling parents, you know, and kids together, you know, just the community, the family community coming together uh, uh, to, uh, to enjoy a solid, uh, wholesome day. And, uh, and that's what it's all about. That's what it's all yes. about. Community is all about. Congratulations, Martin. Uh, Thank you for so much. being a part of this uh, this great event and to your family. And uh, we uh, invite everyone out there to uh, go in and, and enjoy the activity. So la comunidad, es, uh, es, a la comunidad latina especialmente para que vayan a este gran evento, el Fred Levin Wave Fest, uh, celebra una celebración de caridad, si se puede decir, completamente gratis, uh, que se va a llevar a cabo en Pensacola. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our show. We hope you enjoyed uh, our uh, interview uh, with uh, Martin. And uh, we want to make sure that you follow us. Make sure you follow us uh, in our YouTube uh, channel and also follow us through all our media sites in Facebook, uh, follow us in X and also in um, all the other um, social media sites that uh, that you can find us, uh, Instagram and others. Uh, if you have information on an interesting activity, a person or something that's going on throughout the region, throughout this, the United States or the world, and you want us to uh, interview that person or cover that activity, let us know. Let us know. We'll do our best to do so. This is what this program, uh, Making Connections, it's all about. And uh, please stay with us. Uh, follow us again, as we mentioned, on YouTube. Follow us on uh, Facebook and our other uh 
social media sites. Thank you very much for being with us. Uh, this has been another edition of Making Connections Interview Show. Signing off. Please take care of yourselves and may God bless you and protect you. Nos vemos en el próximo show, Making Connections.